Welcome guys to a tutorial on how to install Minecraft, first of all, how to patch it for HD textures, or just patch it for join textures and things like that, and then how to allocate more memory to Minecraft. So first of all you download your Minecraft.exe, you can do this from the Minecraft website, and then we'll start this, and then what you could do is log in with your username and password, so I'm going to do this and then show you afterwards. Now that you've been logging in, it will then download the packs they needs to do. So this is creating your folders in your application data. So for your saved texture folders and all that. So now it's downloaded it, it'll download the most recent stable version that's been issued. So at the moment it's 1.3.2, just standard. If we go in here, we'll make a new world, we'll just say new world. And we'll just see where we land up. And this is quite important, so we'll make this bigger for you guys. And as you can see, we'll just make a couple of observations. Normal textures, no joining of textures. If you go to F3, the top right hand corner says that we're using about a quarter of the memory, and our maximum memory is 9, 10 megabytes. So, what we're going to do now is go out of this, nice and blocky there, and then we're going to go into MC Patcher. Now, you can download this from the normal MC Patcher thing. I'll give you a link in the description, but it's up to you to find the most recent version for the Minecraft. So we'll open this once you unzip it. You can use WinJar or whatever you want. It's not important. It's not a tutorial on that. So you just start this MC Patcher. This will then locate your Minecraft jar. You can only do this after you start up Minecraft first, because when you start up Minecraft, it will download this jar and put it in the folder. So what you can do here is you can patch it. You can pick whatever bits you want. The HD textures and HD font are what you really need for the HD texture packs. But the rest of the things are really nice. So I like the connected textures, the better grass and all that. So all we do is patch this and it will do that. So all you do there is close that and now you can start it back up and I'll log back in. So we log back in now and we go back into the same world. What you'll see now is that we've got connected textures on. This is the first thing you see. There's other improvements that are listed in thing as well and we're still on 9, 10 megabytes, so about a gigabyte of memory. And we'll go back out of that. And the next thing is to allocate more memory to Minecraft. And this is especially important if you're using any HD texture packs, which are far bigger than standard ones and require more memory to run. So what we're going to do in here is go to Control Panel and you go to Folder Options. Then you go into view, and for this, we what we're going to be doing today, you need to go show hidden files and folders and drives, and take off hide extensions for known file types. You can apply that. You can change them back afterwards. Doesn't matter. And what we're going to do is you go to your computer, and then you have to go to. So here I'm just going to go to my users and my test one. You go into application data. This is a hidden folder. You won't be able to see it unless you tick the option just then to show it. You go into roaming. You now have this dot minecraft. This is what it creates when you start this first of all. And then here your bin folder is where your jar is saved. So what MC Patch does, it takes a copy of the original one and renames it. So this is the original copy. It then edits this one, as you see it's slightly bigger. And this is the version the Minecraft will be running. Minecraft will only run a jar file when it's called minecraft.jar. If you have extensions off, it will say Minecraft and file type as extension ex as execu executable jar file. Sorry about that. And then in here is your save. So this is the world we just started. If you ever want to load in a different world or anything, this is where you throw it. And then the Minecraft will pick it up. If you want to texture packs, as it's empty at the moment, you have to download your texture pack. You download it as a zip file. You put the zip file in here. You do not unzip it. So you put it straight in there, and then when you have MC Patcher done, then when you go into Minecraft pick texture packs, then it will be able to use it, and then you won't get white blocks everywhere. If you ever try to use a HD texture pack without using a patcher, there's another couple of different pitch patches you can use, but this is one I use, then you would have white blocks everywhere, and it would look horrible. So what we're going to do now is look at adding more memory. So what we need to do here is you need to locate your version and location of your Java. So I'm just going to go into here, and I'm going to go into Program Files, 
and then you have to locate your Java. So here I've got Java here. Um, there we are. And here I've got JRE7. So this is where it is. And then if we go make a new folder, and we could throw Minecraft in there. And then what we're going to do here is make a new text document. Now this is important. This is the same way as if you came in here and you used a notepad. And it's going to be in this location. So you can call this whatever you want. So we'll call this run Minecraft. At the moment it's a text file. We just open this up. And I'll open the version I have on the other one. And I'll run through it with you. So this is at echo off. This just helps it. And this code will be in the description, don't worry. And then I'm just going to paste this in the same and just talk you through it. You need to have it exactly. Well, this says the first bit does basically looks at the location of your Java. So in here, we saw it was JRE7, and that's where it's located. If you don't know where it's located or you didn't know how to do the bit, it depends if you're on 64 bit or 32 bit. In here, when I went to my computer and went to there, I have a files 64 bit and 32 bits, 32 bit. Go locate where it actually is and do it that way. If you've got Windows 7 with only 32 bit, then you would have a program files here x86. So once you've located your directory and everything else, if you still don't know how to do it, you then uninstall Java with the control panel, you re-download it, the latest one, pick the correct version, you could custom install when it says that, where do you want to save it, all you do is copy the location down and then let it do the default and then you get that. Best to download the latest one anyway, if you don't think you got the latest one, to uninstall it and then reinstall it from the Java site. Next bit here is the minimum, so the starting memory and the maximum memory. The important bit here is this bit. This is the size of the memory. So we can do here, we can do we can do 248 instead of 4 gigs. And these are all rotations of gigabytes. So 1 gigabyte is 1024, 2 gigabytes is 248, 4 gigabytes is 4096, etc. And the M here stands for megabytes and this is the code that needs to be exactly. So this is basically saying your start off for two megabyte two gigabytes and the maximum you can use is two gigabytes. So you just get two gigabytes doing that. And then this will look at the name of the th executable you're using. So this is called Minecraft.exe. Easy to put in the same folder and just keep it together. And what I've got here is no GUI. I'll show you what it does with and without GUI. So I'll cut that out and then we'll save that there. So what we'll do is we'll open that back up and we'll paste this in. Yeah, I'll do this first. So that's the original one. We'll paste this in and save it and close it. And then what we notice here is that we have the four extensions here. This is what we selected in the options on the control panel. And then what we're going to do here is change this. So from a text file to a bat file. And this is a batch process. Change the icon, therefore you can then click on this and it will start it up with command. You can close this if you want, doesn't matter. And then you log in. So I'll log in now. Now that you logged in, it will just go back to the normal menu. You won't see any difference here at all. But if you go back into your world, and I'll make this bigger again. Oh, I'm a Steve this time. And we go into that. You'll see on the top right hand corner we have two gigabytes it recognizes as your memory allocation. So, if you want to add your HD textures, you know, your large texture packs, then you'll use more, probably, depending on what size texture pack you use. If you use more than a standard 1 gigabyte of memory, then you'll crash Minecraft and you'll get an error. This is why you have to add more memory if you're using a higher one. So, for instance, my one, I use around 2 gigabytes of memory on mine with my HD pack, but I set my maximum to 4 gigabytes, same as it is here, just in case. So what we've got here, we just add this and we just put the no GUI back on. Doesn't make much difference to the no GUI, but it's just nice to have it in. So this code will be in the description as always. 
uh, do it so that so that's works exactly the same. This bit here you can close if you want to, but then if you close this, it'll close it automatically. So best leave it open. Doesn't really make any difference. So that's how you allocate more memory to your Minecraft, how you patch it for HD textures, and how you install it to begin with. And if you go back into the control panel and you decide you don't want to look at the extensions anymore, let's go back to view and then do hide extensions for known file types. And then you can go back to don't show hidden folders and folders if you want to. If you want to look back at your settings and things a lot, then I'd keep it there. What we do to finish off with, we go back into here, we just go back to users, test, application data. And then what you can do here is go back to roaming, and then if you create a shortcut for this, throw it out here, this is what I found really useful for myself. We then open this folder again we got up here, and then you drag this in. And then basically, if you keep this all together, you can then run Minecraft from this. You can then go into here, and then go straight to your saves. And then throw in your different saves if you want to change it. And then on this, you can select don't show anymore. And then you still have your shortcuts here. So you got it all together. And that's the end of the tutorial. I really hope I've helped you there. If you've got any questions, just ask. Don't give me any questions about non-premium things. I don't deal with that. I'm sorry. And this is all legitimate Minecraft. So there you are. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope it's helped you. And I'll see you next time.